Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to extract historical exchange rate data from the website, right? So for example, I've visited this particular website called in.investing.com. This website has the historical information of the uh, currencies. For example, when you visit the website over here, you can click on markets and go to currencies and click on forex rates over here. So when you click on forex rate you will land on this particular page now there is also an option where you can create the custom uh, currencies that you want you can by logging in and creating an account over here for now i'm going to just focus on the standard currency conversions that are available over here for example let's say i want to convert euro to usd and i want to know what the historical data of this particular uh, currency or forex rate so i'm going to click on this particular uh, euro and usd over here and then there is an option called as historical over here so when you click on this this is where you get to see the data and then here you can select the date range you want one week one month ytd one quarter etc or there's also custom date range over here that you can choose all the way back from a lot of years over here or decades over here and then once you have selected the uh, data over here, you can click on apply and then you can choose the end date and then click on apply as well. So once you've done that, you will see all of the data that is visible over here. It's in daily, weekly, monthly as well. You can change that uh, as well over here. Um, for now, I'll just keep it to daily. And then you will see that there's a lot of information, a lot of data that is available over here, all the way going back to whatever data that we selected or data range that we selected. Now, now you will ask that how can I copy this so much of information over here? Do I have to just go like this and copy information? The answer is no, you don't need to do that. What you need to do is you just need to copy the link over here and then go back to your Excel sheet. And in your Excel sheet, click, go to the data tab and click on from web. Okay, so when you click on from web, this particular I, uh, dialog box pops up over here. You can enter the URL over here and then click on OK. So when you do that, you will get a list of tables which are available on this particular website. Just give it a second while this connects or establishes the connection. So once the connection is established on the website, you will see a lot of tables that are available over here. So you will have to check each and every table where you will find that information that we are looking for. For example, I found the information over here sitting under table one. I have date, I have price, open, high, low, all the thing that I want, it's right here. I can simply now click on load and bring in the entire data which was available on that website with a single click into straight into Excel. So as you can see over here, I've now extracted all of the data uh, from all the way from 2022 to 2012 that we had selected in the date range when the price is now available with a single click on the Excel as a table, right? So this is how you can extract the data from the website to your Excel uh, dashboard. So if you're working on Power BI, let us check if we can get the same information directly from Power BI directly from the website to Power BI as well. So I've now entered the website. I went to get data, clicked on web, and I'm now connecting to the website to see if we are able to fetch that information. So there are a lot of tables over here. Uh, like we saw in Excel, there are more tables over here, but this is exactly the table that we are interested in, which is table one. So while the preview is evaluating, now we have the data, and now I can simply select this table over here and click on load. And then I can get the data directly from that particular website into my Power BI for to perform the calculation. So as you can see here, it's now getting loaded onto the BI. So as you can see here, I've now imported all of the data uh, into this particular uh, table over here. And this is now you can perform calculations in Power BI as well. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this video helpful. You'll learned, you've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.